In this video, we will demonstrate a vape chamber protocol for passive administration using the La Jolla Alcohol Research eVape Chamber. Vape chambers are a valuable research tool for facilitating clinically translatable methods of drug administration, such as for the administration of vaporized THC. How does it work? Atomized vapor from the vape tank and ambient air from the flow meter combine and flow into the vape chamber. Vapor is evacuated from the vape chamber via the vacuum pump and is filtered. Vape tank preparation. Assemble the vape tank. Dispense approximately 2 milliliters of solution into the outer port. If you are using a THC solution, make sure to cover the vape tank with tin foil as THC is light sensitive. Vape chamber setup. Close the vape chamber latches and turn on the master switch. Attach the vape tank to the vape chamber connection site. Ensure all air lines are properly attached. This includes connections to the vape tank, flow meter, and vape chamber. Troubleshoot vapor release. Start by closing the airflow ring on the vape tank. Set the airflow rate on the flow meter to about one liter per minute. Note that the rate will vary by protocol. Press and hold fire to test vapor release. If you do not observe sufficient vapor release, you must make some adjustments. Slightly open the airflow ring while maintaining the airflow rate on the flow meter. Continue the adjustments with a test fire until the desired vapor release is achieved. Wait 10 minutes to allow for complete vapor evacuation before transferring the animal into the vape chamber. Experiment setup. Turn on the digital monitor and set the experiment parameters. This includes the experimental length, selecting the vape chamber unit, the vape time, the number of hits per cycle, as well as the wait time between hits. Note that these experiment parameters will vary by protocol. After setting your parameters, start the experiment. Vape chamber and tank cleanup. Wait 10 minutes for complete vapor evacuation before returning the animal to its home cage. Turn off the digital monitor and master switch. Disinfect the vape chamber. Disassemble and immerse the vape tank pieces in disinfectant. Be careful not to wet the atomizer as this piece must remain dry for proper functioning. Instead, use a paper towel and cotton swab to absorb excess solution. After an hour or so, lay the vape tank pieces to dry on paper towel. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out the matching graphical protocol in the link in the description below.